my face. <laughs> We are headed to the far outskirts of uh, Queen Creek right now in, in southern Arizona to look at a motorhome, a little a 1973 Winnebago Brave that we uh, might be purchasing and fixing up for a friend on the East Coast. So we will have more from that little adventure. Look at my friends! Hi guys! Are you a sweetie or what? Huh? Are you a sweetie or what? Yeah. Yeah, you are so sweet. Yeah, look at you. You're beautiful. Oh my god. You are so beautiful. You're the softest horse I've ever. Hmm? Let's go take a look at this motorhome. How's it going? Good, good. It's, just, it's, a, it's a pretty blank slate inside here as far as... I mean, this is that that's a decent setup right there. It's good How's stuff. That's the roof. <laughs> yeah, the roof. Yeah, but you know what I forgot? What's that? The title and all the original manuals and everything to it. It doesn't matter. We're, we're planning on looking at it, screwing around with the brakes, and if it's the carburetor. Yeah. So, what do the brakes do when you hit them? They just... It has pressure. Does it? Yeah, I mean, usually... Well, we filled it up with fluid, but we didn't... Or maybe, maybe my brother-in-law bled them. I don't really know. Yeah, we could bleed them, but... What what I have been having to yeah. What were you saying? I've been having to stick you know press the accelerator down for the choke to mm -hmm. so you can move it with your finger there on the carburetor. There's no choke. Uh, yeah, I don't like the way that accelerator is, man. It's pretty stiff. Yeah. yeah. I'm just I'm, I was wondering if it would make sense just to tow it out of here. You know what, boss? I was talking to my father-in-law. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's gonna need oil change for it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even try to drive it up the hill with Flagstaff. Right. You know, actually, actually, that would be the safest thing. Less, mm -hmm. man. I, you don't want to be broke down the side of the road. No, I've done. I've been there, done <laughs> that. You know, I'm trying to think. Um, I was actually trying to think about my old boss I used to work for. He's got a low boy trailer. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if he's how busy he is because he does demolition. Right. And I was like, maybe we can get, you know, he'll he'll do favors and shit for me, man. And, mm hmm Because I do favors for him, you know. Right. Is this actually well, I mean, just straight through to the roof right here? Yeah. It took the insulation. I took the insulation off. I wanted to see what it looked like. Right. Where it was leaking, but. Yeah, the old man when he was like I was telling Peter on the phone, the old man backed into a awning at a gas station and he barely crimped the corner over there. And then it started leaking. That's when grandma told him, No, this is our last vacation, Pops, you're gonna sell it, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I found plates in here, they the guy man, they traveled everywhere, Washington, okay. Alaska, and the guy the old man put a new motor in it. It's only got like I s probably not even twenty seven hundred miles in it. Mm-hmm. But then I had to redo the heads, push rods, and lifters, and then I did the water pump. Because let me tell you, I had, my father-in-law cleaned this thing up real nice. And when, we, when I saw it, I was like, hey, if you ever want to sell it, you know, and he, I paid a thousand for it. Mm -hmm. And then I put all this money into it. Two new steering tires, engine work, new carburetor, all the old uh, elect, new electric uh, fuel pump. Mm -hmm. Wait, get that fuel up there quick, you know? Yeah, I put one on mine too. Um, uh, how long ago did you do that? Uh, that was about five years ago. Mm -hmm. But I haven't, you know. There's a little a, wire. Right? I, actually, the, oh, the last time I drove this, bro, 2008, went out to PIR, NASCAR. Mm -hmm. I worked for uh, Uncle Steve. I was part of the wash crew. We washed all the NASCAR diesels and the pace car and all that kind of stuff. Get away from my truck, horse. <laughs> um, so this is busted. 
The windshield. The windshield. It's obviously a mess. Mm-hmm. A lot of work. Yeah, I'm not so worried about the interior. It's more this carburetor is funny looking compared to mine. I've yeah, got that's the, that that's um I got that from um it's a cheapy carburetor, man. I got it for like 120 bucks or whatever. But the Carter, the original Carter's in the box in the closet right there. Mm -hmm. All receipts are up here in the cabinet. Um, like I said, I just I got it from the original people. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't know where to start, I guess. Uh... But here's my problem, Peter. You know, I just got out of surgery the other day. Mm -hmm. And man, I got I need to get home. Yeah, um, I'm in a lot of pain right now, and uh, you know what it is. The old man up there you met, mm -hmm, Louis. Mm -hmm. You know the guy. He, this is my uh, what seventh battery. Mm -hmm. I could, you know I'm a truck driver over the road, bro. Right. I wasn't able to be here all the time and crank it up like I should have. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it, Dennis. I got it. I got your back. Excuse my French, but yeah. Yeah, we'll just kind of. You know, I'm not a mechanic or anything, but I was just gonna like. I mean, if I was in man, if if I was in bed, see, I gotta get off my butt. I can't be sitting. Mm -hmm. on truck driver deals, man. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, I, I need to get home. But um, if I was all right, then I could get down there and and we could do and we. Could well, I'll see just have to up, pump you know? the brakes and then I'll bleed them and then uh, if it does run, what do you you normally just do like a little turn? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, if I just, bleed them, I want to then be able to see if it's running, if we can... Right, right. But just, yeah, them, them horses are... Oh, watch out. One of them's already my best friend now. Is it? Oh, yeah, she's in well, love, she's in love well, with me. No, she wants girls. to come home with me. <laughs> well, I came out <laughs> this here... This one right here with the black mane, she was she followed me all over. What's weird is I came out here the other day to take the pictures. <laughs> mm -hmm. And those two red horses came at me. They're like dogs. This guy... <laughs> he trains them in Spanish, and he'll mm -hmm. say something, and they'll do it. That's right. awesome. And they'll do circles and oh, shit. Oh, cute. Cool. And, um, well, oh, these are awesome. these two young babies here, but they came at me, and they were pushing me. <laughs> and then at one minute, I was I was in between them. Mm. So I took a little jog to get to that fence post. And they came running with you? Yeah. Because huh. they don't, haven't seen me in a while. And I tripped, I didn't see the little hole dip in the ground, and I tripped and fell. Oh, oh no. God. Yeah, and I mean, you know, and here I am, uh... I'm in bad shape, you know. I had to John Wayne that horse, man. I had to grab, grab a handful of dirt and <laughs> throw it in his face <laughs> just to get some time to get away from him. Yeah, yeah. But see, this is what's crazy. My, uh, It's funny because I just gave my heart to Jesus last month, you know. And uh, my friend goes, Dennis, maybe those red horses are, you know, Mm -hmm. There's always gonna be that evilness coming at you, man. I was like, don't even go there, you know. <laughs> These horses are my buddy. It's like, well, cool. We'll we'll uh, play with it a little bit, yeah, and then check uh, it out, brother. I'm I'm telling you, man. It starts up and everything, and runs. Mm -hmm. It's just been sitting a while, right? You right. know. And maybe my brother-in-law did. When I get up there and check out, what's your brother-in-law's name? Oh, that's my father-in-law. Oh, okay. Uh, his name's Louis. Okay. But his his son, he's he's a good mechanic, and he was out here. Actually, I was going to give this to him, but he went to rehab, which was, and I was like, you're going to rehab, you don't need this. Mm. I, need, I need to, and then I actually found out he stole stole my kid's phone, so I had to, well, I'm always giving, this dude's always taking. Yeah. But, you know, I forgive him. I just hope he gets sober and gets better, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um. 47,000 miles on it. <clears throat> that was probably original. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't. Like I say, he 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 actually bought it. My father-in-law bought it from the people in Phoenix. Yeah, mm. the fans work. Both of them turn the key on. And... Oh, now it takes another battery to run all your stuff, you know. Right. right. Yeah, battery. the house battery. So. Cool. Yeah, she's a picture. That's for sure. I mean, when I would probably just tear out the whole ceiling. The whole ceiling and, and redo it. Force it because it's like sagging like crazy. Mm-hmm. But like if you get on the roof and look, it's real solid up here to, to pass the AC unit, and then then that's where she starts, starts the valley the, right there. Right. You know? yeah. Cool. Well, uh, don't feel like you got to stick around here, and then yeah, um, man, I, I feel I feel bad about leaving, but I got to go. No, yeah, it's gotta, fine. It's hot. I was actually getting ready to split right now when you called. Yeah. And I told Louis, I says, hey, and like Louis said, hey, man, well, you almost got it running, so the guy can just check it out from there. 
Mm-hmm. You know? Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks... I mean, you could tell it's been sitting a long time, but yeah, it's pretty clean. Yeah, the shower, I mean, all that stuff's pretty pretty clean in there, man. It's cool. all, all original, you know, so... What's up with the duck there? Did you hit him on the way down? No, or? it was a... It was a... Well, my uncle shot it in North Dakota. Mm-hmm. I had it in here. It was mounted on a piece of wood. I just stuck it there for... Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. For giggles or something. But we'll figure it out. Okay, uh, I'll, uh, you call me, I'll call you, whatever. Great, hey, thanks for opening it up for us. All right. Okay.